Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I photograph my finished Briar Model Horse Customs. But I'm here mostly to show you that you don't need a crazy setup to make nice looking photos. As long as you're paying attention to some simple steps, it's really easy to achieve awesome professional looking photographs. This is really important for your business, for your portfolio. You want good photos of your customs, especially if you plan on selling them. So in my studio, I have a corner of the room that that is pretty open to not having anything in it, no desk space. It's a closet in which we keep all of our clothes and then a door. So that is the best corner that I have found to take photographs of my models. But I have to put this don't open sign on the front of my door because I live with my boyfriend and sometimes he likes to walk in and I'm setting up basically in front of the door. Then I just have this awesome off-white fuzzy blanket and this has worked really well for me. It doesn't wrinkle, it's really big and I just drape this over the door to work as my backdrop and then I have an array of blue masking tape here you can see and I just use this to actually tape the blanket up I use two TV tray tables as the base for my photographs <laughs> and this just is because I have two of them they work really well you just put them side by side and put that uh, blanket over top and I use little loops of tape underneath to stick the blanket to the tables and this tape sticks really well to the blankets for whatever reason so as a temporary hold it works for enough time to take the photos. <laughs> This is Pierre, the resin horse who's quite large and he fits good in there. Obviously I use a camera tripod. I have the one that has little latches on it and I really recommend getting this kind. I use a Canon DSLR camera. At the point of this video, it was the 70D. I have recently upgraded to the 90D, but any kind of DSLR camera is your best bet. And I have one with the swivel screen that's really important to me. So I use a variety of lenses for my photographing as well. For anything really crazy or over the top large, such as comparison photos, or if the model is excessively tall or long. I use the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter lens. This just works because you can back up the lens a fair amount so that you get a wide angle shot of what you are shooting. For full body normal size traditionals, I use the Canon 50 millimeter. And for all details on my traditionals and for full bodies of stable mates and micros, I use a macro 105 millimeter lens. So you wanna set up your tripod. So for this photo of Pierre, I am using the 50 millimeter lens and making sure that the tripod is ground level to Pierre. I also use a newer ring light as my lighting setup. This is all I use to light my photographs as it lights them very consistently. And I make sure to set the camera up just behind it and through the hole of the ring light. That's what makes the ring light so great. I have to go quite far back with the 50 millimeter lens. That's just how it works. It's uh, quite zoomed in. I find it best to use the touch screen to take photos photographs because then it doesn't cause any blur. Pushing down the button sometimes can shift things around. I generally shoot on manual and I have all my lighting and white balance set up correctly inside the camera. And I just rotate the horse as I go taking photos to the best of my abilities. <laughs> For small scaled models such as stable meats and micros, I do a similar process in which I use a TV tray table and an actually just a tank top that is white taped to the wall. So this is seriously nothing fancy. It's whatever works for you. And this is just the setup that works best for me. Backdrop doesn't need to be nearly as big for stable mates or micros, but I still use the newer ring light to illuminate these guys. And of course, just using that macro lens uh, to shoot. 
And then obviously when I am done photographing everyone, I clean up my whole workstation. And so I peel off the tank top from the wall. I put the tray tables back where they belong and I take down the drapes as well as the sign on the front of the door. I hope that this helps in your process of photographing your models. Great photos are key to selling your work and advertising for your business. Thanks so much for watching and happy photographing.